Hello, my name is Brian Valero. I'm group six. And today I will be addressing question four. The purpose of a cooperative strategy is, strategy is to have firms working together to achieve a shared objective. Firms working together enable innovations and generate a competitive advantage. Firms are provided with different complementary resources and different firm capabilities. Having different firms provide different unique resources aids in compiling a product, additionally creating and generating value for the firm and its stakeholders, having firm growth and enhancing a firm's performance. The formal method would be the cost minimization approach. This is where firms, appro uh, this is where firms develop and establish formal contracts with their partners. These contracts specify how the cooperative strategy is monitored and how partner behavior is to be controlled and accounted for. The goal of the cost minimization approach is to bring down the cooperative strategy's cost and to prevent opportunistic behavior by a partner. Maximizing a partnership's value creating opportunities is the focus of the opportunity maximization approach. This method is less formal. This is where trust comes into play by all parties. Firms have to trust one another that all knowledge is being provided by the firms in the cooperative strategy. In this case, firms are prepared to take advantage and maximize unexpected opportunities to learn from each other and to explore additional marketplace possibilities. Having less formal contracts with fewer constraints or partners' behaviors make it possible for partners to explore how their resources can be shared in multiple value-creating ways. There is less bureaucracy and more freedom to learn from one another and take maximize one another's resources, knowledge, and ca capabilities. With the opportunity maximization approach, trust is the main factor. A firm must hope whatever firm they partner with, form an alliance with, the firm will not take advantage of the partner's vulnerabilities, even if they have the opportunity to do so. It is more challenging to conduct this strategy in an international environment. Differences in trade policies, cultures, laws, and politics that are part of the cross-border alliances account for, the, for this increased difficulty. Both strategies can be utilized if both me methods are conducted with trustworthy firms. It becomes more complex in an international setting due to all the factors you must consider. If trust is established, alliances have shown to be efficient. This is a result of stability within the alliance. The cost minimization approach incurs the expense of producing formal detailed contracts and extensive monitoring mechanisms. This method would be ideal to hold other firms accountable with extensive monitoring. Me this method would be ideal to hold other firms accountable if trust is not present among the firms in the alliance. Requiring more resources to be utilized by the firms in cooperative strategy but preventing a partner from acting in their own self-interest.